Good afternoon everybody. Today we're going to be installing the Android Q Beta on my OnePlus 7 Pro. I've um, been contemplating this for a while and I decided that I really don't have anything to lose. I really don't have too much set up on my phone. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um, the way I do it is I use an app called Oxygen Updater and what this allows you to do is download um, different versions of the software. Like right now I'm on the incremental update. So I get my updates a little bit faster um, than I would if they were pushed straight from OnePlus. Um, this also allows you to do a full update. So if you're going looking to go back to the um, the most recent version, you can do a full update. It will download that. But it also gives you an option to do the Android Q developer preview. Um, so if we do that and go back to update here, you can see it gives you all the warnings right here. It tells you to make sure you have 3 gigabytes of storage space, 30% battery. Let you know that this will wipe it. Um, I have used OnePlus Switch right here to do a quick backup. Again, I don't really have anything on this phone that I can't re-download or anything like that, so don't have much to lose there. Um, it says low probability of having stability issues, so hopefully this beta is a little bit better. Um, I know there were some issues before, but like I said, not much to lose. Don't do this on your main device if you use it every day or anything like that, because it's going to wipe your device. If you want to go back, it's going to wipe your device. Um, so it's just going to be a real big pain in the butt if you actually have stuff to use. Um, so we're going to go ahead and download this right here from the app. What this is going to do is it's going to download the file for the phone, the OnePlus 7 Pro, and it's going to put it right where it needs to be to do a manual install. So I'm going to let that download and I'll come back and I'll show you how we're going to do that manual install. Alright, so the download has completed. One thing about this um, app, it actually walks you through the installation guide um, on how to do it when every download is complete. So it warns you here that you're going to lose your files. You cannot revert back to the stable regular version except if you choose to erase all files. So if you need to go back, you're going to lose your files. Um, it's going to be a fresh, in, fresh installation, everything like that. So it tells you what to do right here, um, but I'm about to show you, so we're going to skip that. So once the download completes, you're going to go down here to System, System Updates, your gear icon up there, Local Upgrade, and there's the downloaded file right there. Um, since this is an AB partition, it's going to install in the background. You're going to have to enter your PIN. It's going to install in the background, and then you're going to reboot your device once it's finished. If you do this um, by putting the file in your internal storage, you're just going to have to move the, or if you download it on your computer, you're just going to have to move the file to your internal storage to get it to show up right there. But if you go to the App Store and download the Oxygen Updater app, it's going to do everything for you. It's going to be right there where you need it to be. And then you just click that. So we're going to let that install. Um, and then I'll come back when it's installed when we need to reboot it and I'll show you that as well just so you can see everything and I'll let you know um, what happens next. Alright, so just about wrapped up on the install right here. Once that completes, gets to 100%, we're going to have an option right here to go ahead, <clears throat> go ahead and reboot, excuse me. Um, so once we see that, we'll go ahead and reboot the phone. After that, it's going to pretty much do everything on its own. Um, it may or may not wipe it this time, not too sure yet. Um, so we're going to go ahead and click a reboot here. It's going to restart, apply that update, and we should be in Android Q, um, in the Android Q beta once it reboots. So I'm going to get, let that do its thing. It's going to take a couple minutes because this is a full update. Um, bootloader is unlocked, obviously. We're going to give it a second and come back when it's done. So you can see here we have a little Android boot logo. That is new for Android Q, um, at least for this device. So it is installing right now. I'm going to let everything finish setting up. There we go. So it did wipe the device. I'm going to go ahead and set it up real quick and then I'll do a quick walkthrough of Android Q. I'm not going to show up any new features in this video. This was just an install video. Um, I do need to play around with it a little bit before I you know, can give you guys some in detail um, reviews and stuff like that. Alright, so I did choose not to restore from a backup. We're going to go ahead and go in here and see if our OnePlus backup is in here. I did use OnePlus Switch. We're going to go ahead and sign into Google real quick, get into the um, the home screen and see if our backup still stayed there. Alright, so we got everything set back up. For some reason there's only one wallpaper on here for the beta. I don't know why they do that. We're going to go ahead and um, head in and see if our backup is still there. So we're going to go to OnePlus Switch right here. No, I don't want to. Let's see. Yes. Allow, 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 allow. Allow all the time. Allow, allow some more. So we're going to go back up and restore. Restore backup. And it looks like the backup was not found which sucks, so... Yeah, it looks like it did erase the backup, so if you're going to do that, make sure you uh, copy your backup to a computer. Um, not a big deal, like I said, 
I had to re-download my apps anyway, um, so not a huge issue um, there. It does kind of suck because all that other stuff is going to be um, have to be reset up like your settings and everything like that. So it is a full wipe. Make sure you back it up externally from the device because it does wipe everything on the storage even if it stores it somewhere else. Um, so do be aware of that. But this is um, Android Q Beta 2 right here. I believe it's what, what it, we're running. Um, so everything seems to be working just fine so far. I haven't really played around with it much but the fingerprint sensor everything like that is working. Um, all your main stuff's working now. Um, like I said, it does say there's going to be limited stability issues, so you should be pretty safe to try this out. Again, if it's your main device and you really rely on it, don't do it. Wait um, until the public release comes out and then go ahead and update. This is Colin with Tech Out. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments down below. And as always, have a great day.